Hey there, it's Dave Altavilla for HotHardware.com here with a quick take review of the all-new Asus Zenfone Zoom. The Zenfone Zoom is yet another iteration of Asus's popular Zenfone 2 line of Android handsets. And this version, as you might have guessed, is targeted at consumers looking for a powerful camera and top-notch image fidelity from a smartphone. In fact, the Zenfone Zoom is the first smartphone with, according to Asus, the world's first dual-reflecting periscope camera. The camera also has a 3x optical zoom and we'll dig into that more shortly. Asus decided to dress up our review unit with a more customized presentation fit for an unboxing. So why not? Here goes. The Zenfone Zoom is powered by an Intel Atom processor, hence the Intel Inside logoing on what is a decidedly large box for a smartphone. Ah, but inside we see there's more than a few goodies in addition to the phone itself. First would be Zenny, the Asus Zen mascot. This little fella is, well, plastic. Perhaps cute, and yep, kind of weird, in a badass sort of way, we guess. We'll set him over here so he can oversee the rest of the unboxing. Next, there's an accessories pack with an Asus hand strap that slips into the top corner of the Zenfone Zoom to give you that point-and-shoot kind of feel. And we've also got a standard issue AC adapter with USB sync and charge cable. And finally, we have these Asus earbuds that look relatively well built and sound that way as well. Though Bose IE2 users, if you want real bass response, like 95% of what's out there these days, you can forget it. Next, you've got your basic lit pack and this box of what looks like an undersized pinochle deck. With these, Asus marketing is definitely in overdrive, but actually, we have to hand it to them. This is fairly imaginative stuff. With the black color cards, you're given a set of instructions to compose a shot. Then you're supposed to pair it up with a white card to complete the composition. Here we've got show the close-up details of a musical instrument and a star-filled universe. No, wait, dinner for two, or perhaps a fruit-filled lunch. Well, you get the idea. Too many hoops to jump through. Sorry, we're just going to snap some pics. The Zenfone Zoom is powered by an Intel Atom Quad-Core Z3580 processor with PowerVR G6430 graphics, a healthy 4GB of DDR3 RAM, and a capacious 64GB of onboard flash storage. It also has 802.11ac Wi-Fi and a 3000 mAh battery that Asus claims is capable of up to 19 hours of talk time and about 8.5 hours of video playback. The phone feels really snappy, actually, and Asus's Zen UI, skinned over Android 5 Lollipop, gets the job done pretty nicely. Menu options and settings are easy to drill through with good color contrast and reasonable color palettes. The Zenfone Zoom's 5.5-inch IPS display is also reasonably bright at 400 nits and it supports a full HD 1080p resolution at 403 ppi. It's perhaps not the highest end display, but it's plenty bright and more than serviceable with decent saturation and contrast. On bottom, we've got a micro USB sync and charge port in the aforementioned hand strap post. The left side is bare, but up top, you've got a headphone jack and a mic port. On the right side, however, is where all the action is. Here you've got a volume rocker and a power button screen lock switch, as well as both still camera and video record buttons for very quick access to either still or video shooting modes. And of course on back is the Zenfone Zoom's 13 megapixel camera with f2.7 to f4.8 aperture and 10 element Hoya lens with 3x optical zoom and image stabilization and laser autofocus. These are serious optics which actually afford the camera its 3x optical zoom by telescoping internally across a horizontal axis rather than vertically. Those optics are paired with Panasonic's Smart FSI sensor, and all of this affords a one-of-a-kind feature for a smartphone and a true differentiation in the market. Also on front, there's the requisite selfie cam, of course, that offers 5 megapixels of resolution. The rear backplate of the Zenfone Zoom is strapped with genuine leather, believe it or not, though it still feels rigid and kind of plasticky. The back plate is removable, by the way, giving you access to the phone's SIM card slot and, yes, micro SD card slot for storage expansion. You cannot, however, easily remove the battery. It's oddly strapped in semi-permanently with screws, which are part of the rear assembly. Uh, but let's talk about the Zenfone Zoom's camera performance and setup, which is obviously a key salient feature of this smartphone. First, the camera app features are excellent with just about whatever you'd want for various types of shooting, including low light mode, night mode, HDR mode, enhanced beautification mode, 
time lapse, and even selfie panorama mode. However, it's the camera's manual mode that you'll want to work closely with. Here you've got virtually all the settings you'd find in a typical DSLR camera, from white balance to ISO, exposure, shutter speed, and so on. The camera also allows you to focus and take close-ups from just about five centimeters away for true macro photography. Working with the camera, however, we were met with occasionally mixed results. First and foremost, to get the most out of the Zenfone Zoom, you're definitely going to want to take this thing off of auto mode. The way it's set up today, the camera just doesn't react well enough in auto mode or even in HDR mode to compete with many of the higher end cameras from phones like the Samsung Galaxy S6 or the iPhone 6. Asus probably could remedy this situation down the road with a firmware update, but as we were testing currently, auto mode just didn't offer the kind of performance we were expecting, especially from this class of camera. However, when you fire up manual mode, you can definitely coax some rather impressive shots from this phone, especially in low ISO settings of 200 and under with good lighting. You can really compose some amazing shots with the Zenfone Zoom, and in challenging lighting, you have even more flexibility to work with as well. The question becomes, do you want this kind of precision and flexibility in a smartphone camera, or would you rather just have something you can pull out of your pocket and snap good shots in auto mode quickly and easily? We'll leave you with that to ponder for a bit. In the meantime, let's talk about general performance and battery life. The Zenfone Zoom with its Atom Z3580 processor and 4GB of RAM might not be the fastest combination on the market currently, but it does offer very respectable performance, especially in general purpose everyday use, browsing the web, checking emails, or making calls. And though the Zenfone Zoom isn't going to break any benchmark records, mainstream gaming with the phone handles just fine too. Battery life with the Zenfone Zoom was also excellent, by the way, racking up over 10 hours of uptime in our connected web testing and scoring in the top 20% or so of all phones we've tested to date. And we should mention the Zenfone Zoom also has some nice customizable power setting features as well. In total, the Zenfone Zoom offers solid performance, great battery life, good build quality, and a decent 5.5-inch display, along with a very powerful and flexible camera, all for anywhere from $449 to $499 street price, unlocked, of course, and with 64 gigabytes of storage. It's a very solid value, actually. However, for us, the Zenfone Zoom, at least currently, feels like a niche product. Whether or not you want a phone that has DSLR capabilities and optics, and if you have the time and know-how to compose a shot properly, is up for you to decide. If Asus ups its game in auto-shooting mode, then you end up with the best of both worlds. But either way, make sure you stop by hothardware.com for our full review, and toss in a thumbs up and subscribe here if you like this video. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware with the Asus Zenfone Zoom. Thanks for stopping by.